String interpolation is a fancy name for what's actually a very simple thing, combining variables and constants inside a string. We'll start off by writing var name equals Tim McGraw again. If we want to print that out as a message to the user, it includes a name alongside other text. String interpolation is what makes that easy. You just write a backslash, then an open parenthesis, then your code, then a closed parenthesis, like this. Var name equals Tim McGraw, then your name is string interpolation, so backslash open parens, name, close parens, quote. The results pane will now show your name is Tim McGraw, all as one string, because string interpolation combined the two for us. Now we could have done that by using the plus operator like this. Your name is, then an end quote, then plus, and then let's do name directly, like that. But that's not as efficient, particularly if you're combining multiple variables together. In addition, string interpolation in Swift is smart enough to be able to handle a variety of different data types automatically. For example, we could have said uh, var name equals Tim McGraw, then var age equals 25, var latitude equals 36.166667. And finally, your name is string interpolation name, comma, your age is string interpolation age, comma, and your latitude is string interpolation latitude, and the string. Doing that using plus is much more difficult because Swift doesn't let you add integers and doubles to a string. At this point, your result may no longer fit in the results pane. So either resize the window by grabbing it here and pulling it across, or hover over the result and click this eye symbol to preview it, or this button next to it to show it in line with your code. One of the powerful features of string interpolation is that everything between the open parens and closed parens can actually be a full Swift expression. For example, we can do mathematics in there using operators. We could say uh, var age equals 25, then your age is, string interpolation, age, years old, and in another string interpolation, age, years, you will be, string interpolation, age, star, two, and end the string. And we'll get back, your age is 25, in another 25 years, you will be 50. Again, you can see the output for this by pressing this box on the right here to show an output in line with your code. 